So for this activity, we're going to do about this class page. And if you go to pages, and if you notice, I have it go home, about this class, projects, browse. I have it in this order. I would like yours to be in this order too. It's easier for me to follow and to grade. If you really want to change it up, come talk to me and we'll talk about it. So if yours is in the wrong order, let's say it's down here and it's like way down here, make sure to click and drag and you can move it up and put it right by your home. I think this makes logical sense. Like when they go to this main page, they'll see your introduction, the purpose of the digital portfolio. They'll see your pages down here if you have a picture and they'll see that this is your digital portfolio for this class in this year. Then they'll go to about this class and they'll learn more about what this class is and what it's all about and the purposes and everything. So put something right here that says the course name, and then you can list the course name there. You could even just have it say graphic and visual communications. You don't have to say the course name and all that as the title. And you can just have it say graphic and communications somewhere here. Then describe the course. I actually just took this from the Plum website that describes this course in the um, handbook of studies or whatever it's called. So you can just copy this down exactly if you want to. Course goals. Um, these are the main goals that I can think of for this class, so I would just copy these exactly down. Um, but if you want to add to or take away from or add more, it doesn't matter to me. You can write as many goals as you want um, and feel free to be as creative with that as if you want to. Why I took this course. So this is where you specifically are going to write down why you took it. You can say, you could do bullet points again and write down like three or four reasons why, ten reasons why, it doesn't matter to me why you took this course. Or you can write a paragraph here, style of why you took this course, why this interested you and all that stuff. What you're hoping to get out of it, what you did get out of it. And then down here it says how this course will help students in real life. Like what's the real, wor real world application of this class? Why is this class beneficial to take in general? And you can just do bullet points like I did here, or you can do paragraph style um, and explain why this class is beneficial. And if you're having trouble with that, look up here. This class is important because you're learning about using a variety of different machines and you're problem solving together. You can say that you're learning how to work with other people, teamwork. You can go on and on about why this class is a good one to take. Um, let you be creative. It lets you express yourself. Write something down here that we can see why it's important to take this class. Change the image for this header. I did one of their stock images, so I did select image, and you can use any of these images. I just keep clicking this main one, but you can use whatever you want. Um, remember, if you're doing a header page here, you can't just upload a picture from the internet without having the rights to that image. So if you up, download a picture from the internet and upload it here, then you might not have the rights for it. The reason why it's okay to do select image here is because these um, are stock images. They are images where you're allowed to use, you have the, they're free reign for everybody. What are they called? Public domain or whatever it's called. They're free to use. So you are allowed to use these pictures. It's my cat. <laughs> so this one shouldn't be too, too hard. So please, if you have any questions, let me know. But you might be able to just fly through this in like an hour or so. Um, remember how you submit it. Copy this link. And then when you go over here, you can submit link right where it says, um, I, I don't see the student view right where it says submit work. I'm also going to put in here that same um, how to submit share video just for you to um, reference that as well. Let me know if you have any questions.